All right, this is the homework help video for Lesson 27, Part 2. And uh, let's just get right into it and see if I can uh, give you some help with this. Uh, we're told that the measure of angle 8 down here in the bottom left is 23 degrees. And we're supposed to find all of the others and then give a reason for our answer. So uh, we don't have to do these in order. Um, you could, however, if you wanted to, um, you know that angle 8 and angle 1 are consecutive exterior. So that means that they are supplementary. So 180 minus 23 is 157. And so I could say consecutive exterior to angle 8. So angle 2 is going to be supplementary. They form a linear pair, so that's 23 degrees. And you could just say linear pair to angle 1. Angle 3, a um, couple of different options here. You could say it's uh, the same as angle 1. It's 157 because it's a vertical pair or vertical angle vertical to angle 1 and then angle 4 uh, again you could say um, it's a linear pair with 3 or it's uh, vertical to 2 either way it's going to be 23 degrees I'm just going to say linear pair to angle 3. Then uh, angle 5 is corresponding to angle 1, so we could say it's 157 corresponding to angle 1. Angle 6 is vertical to angle 8, so we'll say that's 23 degrees, they're congruent. And then angle 7 is vertical to 5, forms a linear pair with uh, 8 or 6. Either way, I'm just going to say it's vertical to angle 5. And that takes care of that first set of problems. Uh, same thing here. If angle 9 is 97 and angle 12 is 114, let's find the rest. Okay, so um, I'll just go ahead and identify 14. Uh, we have these two parallel lines. Notice the arrows indicating that these are parallel and there's two different transversals, so just be careful that you make the right relationships. So 9 and 14 are congruent because those are vertical. Uh, 9 and 13 form a linear pair, so 180 minus 97 is 83. Um, like we can go ahead and get angle 10 because 9 and 10 form a linear pair as well. Or you could say that 10 and 13 are vertical. Uh, either way, angle 10 is going to be 83 degrees. Um, we have uh, alternate interior angles here with 9 and 6. So 6 and 9 are congruent. And that's also true with 5 and 10. So since we have 10, then we can get 5. All right. Um, 1 and 13 are consecutive exterior, meaning that they're supplementary. So 
13 is 83, that makes 197. You could also say that um, 1 and 8 are corresponding, or 1 and 9, sorry, are corresponding. And since 9 is given, so a lot of these have multiple correct ways of getting the answer. And 2 forms a linear pair, so 2 is going to be 83. They're supplementary. All right, and uh, we'll just go ahead and make sure we get all the ones off of this transversal. 1, 2, 5, 6, 9 is given, 10, 13, 14. So all the ones off of this transversal are done, and now we can work on this one. So um, we could say 12 and 7 are alternate interior. So 7 is going to be 114. And 4 and 7 are vertical. And 4 and 12 are corresponding. So either way, that's going to be 114 for number 4, angle 4. We could say that 12 and 8 are consecutive interior, so they are supplementary. So um, 180 minus 114 is 66, so that would be angle 8. And that's also going to be angle 3 since they're vertical. And then uh, let's see, we have 8 and 11 are alternate interior, so they're congruent. 11 then is also 66. 15 and 12 are vertical, so 15 has to be 114 degrees. 16 is vertical to 11, so 16 is going to be 66 degrees. All right, uh, number three. Um, this is another one of those where I think it's helpful to go ahead and extend the uh, parallel lines. It gives us a little better picture coming up with these other angles on the outsides, the exterior uh, can be helpful. So angle two is 98. Angle 3 is 23, and angle 8 is 70. So let's find all of the others. Okay, so again, these horizontal lines, the two horizontal lines are the parallels, and we actually have three transversals. Uh, these two lines and then this other one that's doing the diagonal. So let's see what we know. Um, well, first of all, I can identify this angle, even though it's not numbered. Um, they're vertical, so this is going to be 98. And now what we have with this transversal, we have this angle and 5 are alternate exterior. So that means 5 is going to have to be 98. All right, uh, let's see what else we got. If, if this angle is 98 and 98 plus 1 has to be 180, so 180 minus 98 is going to be angle 1. So angle 1 will be 82 degrees. And angle 1 is, um, let's see, what else we got here? It's vertical to this, so we can go ahead and say that um, this angle right here is also 82. Uh, we can get angle 4 uh, using supplementary um, these two angles plus angle 4 would be 180, so you could say 180 minus 23 minus 98 is the measurement of angle 4, so that's going to be 114 
degrees. Oh, sorry. Looking at the wrong. Looked at the wrong problem. So 180 minus 98 minus 23. That is 59. Yep. Just the definition of supplementary. And uh, this transversal right here is really connecting these two parallel lines. So angles 4 and 7 are alternate interior. So 7 is also going to be 59. And I'll erase, I'm getting kind of, yeah, I guess we can leave it. Okay, uh, let's see about number six. Number six. Well, we know that um, 70 was given, and now we found angle seven. And so, again, by definition of supplementary, we do 70 plus 59. And then we can subtract that from 180, and that'll give us angle 6. 180 minus 70 minus 59, and that is 51 degrees. All right, and so we can go ahead and identify this angle right here. Um, angle 6 being 51, so this has to be supplementary to that, so that's going to be 129. Pin? All right, very good. So that means if this is 129, and uh, again, this, these are my two parallel lines, and this is the transversal. So this angle and angle 10 are alternate exterior. So angle 10 must be 129. And now you can use supplementary 180 minus 29 will give you angle 9, and that's 51. All right, I think we got them all. And then uh, let's take a look at number four. If angle three is 54, then let's find everything else. All right, so we know that um, our parallel lines run this way. And we have two transversals, and they happen to form a right angle, so we'll go ahead and get the easy one out of the way first. We know angle 2 is 90 degrees, and that means angle 5 has to also be 90 degrees because they are vertical angles. So if angle 5 is 90 and uh, we have a linear, we have a supplementary uh, situation here, these three angles have to add up to 180, so 180 minus 54 minus 90 will be angle 4, and that's 36. It's angle 4, and that's also going to be angle 1 because they're vertical. All right, let's see what else uh, we got. So this angle... corresponds to this angle. So 4 and 5 together would be the same as 9. So 4 and 5 added together would be 126. So that's going to be angle 9 by corresponding angles. And if 9 is 126, then so is 7. And then we can 
do uh, supplementary 180 minus 126 is going to be angle 10, and that's 54. And so angle 8 and angle 10 must be the same because they're vertical. All right, and now let me erase. We'll go over here to this. Get kind of messy. All right, so angle 11. Uh, so here's the their one transversal, and then here's my two parallel lines. So. Angles 11 and 4 are alternate interior, so 4 and 11 should be the same. All right, and uh, let's see what else we can come up with. Uh, 3 and 14. I uh, thought we could make a relationship there, but no. Um, we'll just go ahead and use supplementary to come up with angle 12. So if 11 is 36, then angle 12 must be 144. That means angle 13 and angle 11, of course, are the same. They're vertical. So there's 36. And 14 and 12 are the same. Oh, left out angle 6. Okay, let's talk about angle 6. So uh, we know 4 and 5, and so using supplementary, 180 minus 90 minus 36, and so angle 6 should be 54. All right, that takes care of the first page. And uh, let's work our way to the second. So close my window here. And now we're using algebra and uh, what we've learned about these angle relationships when a pair of parallel lines is, is cut by a transversal. So um, these two are alternate exteriors. So that means that they are uh, equal to each other. So we'll just set up an equation and solve for x. So that one's pretty pretty basic. x is going to be 13. All right, so here we have consecutive interior because this is pointing at this angle on the inside. So consecutive interior angles are complementary. So 12x plus 96, 12x equals 84, so x is 7. And number 7, uh, we have these two parallel lines cut by transversals, so these are alternate exterior, which means they are congruent. So I subtract 5x, subtract 71, sorry, I need to change that, that should be minus, pen needs to cooperate a little bit better, minus 71, plus 7. So I'm going to add 71 to both sides and then divide by 3. All right, so for number 8, uh, this represents corresponding angles, and corresponding angles are always congruent. So I just set these equal to each other. Subtract 4x, add 61 and divide by 
Now we're solving for x and y. So um, these angles are corresponding, the ones that both have x in them. So I can set those equal to each other to solve for x. Subtract 9x, add 19, divide by 4. And now we can let these two go together to equal 180. Uh, just replace x with 11. <clears throat> so that's going to be uh, 13 times 11 minus 19. That's 124. And all of that's going to equal 180. So this is going to be 129. And when you subtract 129 from both sides, that will be 51. And so y is equal to 3. All right. Uh, these are corresponding exterior. And so they are supplementary. Consecutive exterior. I keep saying corresponding. Sorry about that. Consecutive exterior. 3x minus 29 added to 6x minus 7 equals 180. 9x minus 36. Add 36 to both sides. And divide by, by 9, and so x is 24. And now we can uh, let these two uh, add together to equal 180. Again, they're supplementary. So 3 times 24 is 72. Minus 29 is 43. Plus 8y plus 17 equals 180. So 8y plus 60 equals 180, adding 43 and 17. 8y is 120, so y is 15. Okay, um, let's see what we got here. These are corresponding. So 7x minus 23 is equal to 3x plus 49. Subtract 3x, add 23, and divide by 4. We've got our value for x. And then we also can say that um, these angles are corresponding. These two parallel lines cut by this transversal. So 3 times 18 is 54, and that's going to equal 11y minus 1. Those two are congruent. So I add 1 to both sides, and then divide by 11, and we got our value for y. OK, and our last one. Um, The relationship here that we have is with these two parallel lines, and we actually have two transversals. With this transversal, we have alternate interior angles that are equal to each other. Subtract 3x, add 38. Divide by 2. So we got x. 
and now we can do um, let's see we know that these are also the same so we have a couple of choices here if you know that um, you know that the sum of three angles of a triangle equal 180 degrees you could use that that's no problem or we could go ahead and just use supplementary and uh, we know what uh, X is now so 3 times 17 is 51 minus 4 that would be 47 and plus 90 plus 7 Y minus 20 equals 180 so either way And that's 47 equals 180. So 70, let's see, 70 plus 47 is 117, I believe. Just adding up our like terms. So 7y plus 117 is 180. 7y is equal to 63. 180 minus 117. So y is 9. Okay, I think we got it. That's your homework assignment. And... Um, Again, uh, don't let this be the only way you do this. I hope the video was a way for you to check what you've already done. But uh, if you're struggling with how problems work, I hope the video helps. And if you still have questions, uh, let me know. And I'll see you next time.